I've told you guys many times that dual sports are very suitable for a country like Nepal. And understanding that market, many companies have come forth with great dual sport bikes. And on the show today, I have one such bike for you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Leimoto LRF 250 and you're watching The Review Show. Now, Leimoto is a new brand of motorcycles in our country. And to be honest, I didn't know about this company a while back either. And I did some research and found that Leimoto translates to motorcycle in Italian. And Leimoto as a company has its origins in the United Kingdom. While digging up information, I came upon its website, which sheds all the light into the company. Leimoto is registered in the United Kingdom and British engineers outline its product specifications and oversee quality control in the Far East manufacturing plants. The clear focus is on professional dirt bikes and motards, super sport bikes and smaller capacity machine scooters. Prime Motors I was born one year ago. Rai Motors is a Nepal British brand called Leimoto Motorcycle. In Australia, it is a Hunter Motorcycle in Nepal. Rai Motors is a one year bio established. In Europe, we have an outlet in Nepal. Major cities are Pokhara, Dharan, Italy, Damak. We have very soon, within one month, Narangarh, Budbal. हेटोड़ा अच्छा ओपन बाइक आज ये कंपलीटली ये जी डॉट सेगमेंट का बाइक बायो लेमोटो को अब वाली नेपाल में जी डॉट सेगमेंट को बाइक और जी धेरे रुचाइये को स्पेशली यूथ हर ले आई ना तब ये को 18 टू 40 इयर्स समान को जेनरेशन ले जाए मन पड़ रहा है उन्हें ले हम ले जाए मार्केट को डिमांड वही लोग क्या किसे बने एलआरएस को चाहिए अब मार्केट में धेरे डॉट बाइक करो छा उपलब्ध था छाने को लगे ना बाइक वही ना तब अब यो चाहिए बड़ी सिंजरिंग को बाइक हो तो बड़ा क्वालिटी वाइज देखी ले रहा है ना तब एको बोली करा बाइक लाई राइड कर दागा कंफर्ट देखी ले रहा तेरे को ड्यूरेबिलिटी स्ट्रीट में राइड करने के लिए बेस्ट था और आपको जो है डॉट इंडिया रूप आया हुआ है जो है ऑफरोड में बड़ी जस्टो कर रहा है ये जो है ये मेरे जो है टोटली आई ली हमली है दाखिल एक्जिस्टिंग कंपनी को बनी है दाखिल एक्जिस्टिंग बाइक कर कर दाखिल बनी और हमरो मार्केट में ऑब्वियसली 18 टू 40 इयर्स को एज ग्रुप राइड करनी तेरी उतार गए ग्रुप तेरी वहाँ का एकदम रामस है एकदम ही फाइन बाइक जून कस्टमर ले से तबे को ये वड़ा ड्रॉट बाइक बने जैसे कस्टम होने पर सब बने कुछ राज जून वाले खुजी रहे कौन सा तो वहाँ ले से भाई पाउंड हुआ ये बाइक जो टेस्ट राइड करने भी दिखे एकदम राम लोग पोजिटिव भी चाहिए एकदम है तो भाई को क्वालिटी वाइज तो भाई यार ओब्वियसली आई ना और अब क्वालिटी में कुने पनी कंप्रोमाइज ना भाई को बाइक भाई डेफिनेटली यो बाइक लाई डॉट बाइक खुजी रखने कस्टमर और जो होन हमें संग तो मेरे को इंस्टॉलमेंट बैंकिंग फैसिलिटी और अवेलेबल था हमें संग एक्सचेंज फैसिलिटी और था सब ये फैसिलिटी जरूर जाएंगे प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं एक्सचेंज को तो जुने भी नहीं बाइक वहाँ ले ले उन्होंने जो उड़ा बैलेंसिंग हमें कर सों हमें लीडिंग सब सों काठमांडू को कस्टमर उन्होंने दमक बने दमक में इच्छा डेफिनेटली वहाँ जान सकते हों चाहे और सबे कस्टमर लाइन में बनो चांस यू प्लीज वेलकम आवर सोरूम फॉर टेस्ट राइट 
टेस्ट राइज एभाइलेबल छेस्ट राइज कर Now let's talk about how the bike looks and we know that looks are a crucial factor while buying a bike especially for the young generation out there. An aggressive stance. A muscular body. Popping colors and attractive build. And true to the essence of the motocross. And looking like a true off-roader. That is what the Lemoto LRF 250 looks like. The LRF 250 is what it is supposed to be a dual sport and the design justifies it well. We have angular and sharp styling all over the body. The cuts and the trim is neat all around and one will be more than satisfied with how the bike looks if they are fans of dual sport motorcycles. I had the red, white and blue color combination for both the bikes and it certainly does pop out. It looks quite attractive and distinguishes itself from other bikes out there. Unfortunately, this is the only color available right now and I would love to see more such wonderful colorways in the future. The LRF 250 has an aggressive stance and a motocross feel to it. It certainly looks muscular in all the right places and will certainly make its presence known when you're riding down the roads. For the dirt version, you'll be getting Dunlop tires, whereas for the enduro version, you'll be getting the Pirelli tires while buying the bike. But I do have to say, Dunlop and Pirelli are a great selection of tires indeed. Now let's talk about the materials with which the bike has been made and the features that it possesses. For the engine, we have a 250 cc single cylinder four stroke water cooled engine with SOHC4 valve timing system which increases the BHP. The maximum power output is 26 kilowatts at 9500 rpm or 34 bhps. The gear system in the LRF is a 6 speed unit. We have aluminum handlebars which I must say are pretty well designed and it has just the right position to it. For the forks we have a CNC triple clamp system and the frame is a cradle type made with reinforced alloy. The braking system consists of a CNC clutch and brake lever with 240 mm front and rear disc. The shocks are adjustable both at the rear and the front and the bike weighs in at 112 kg. The aluminum double exhaust system is one that the boys will love and they do get pretty loud. We have a 8 liter tank and the mileage is stated at 22 km per hour. We have a massive clearance of 290 mm as well, so bring on the rough terrain. The kickstands and the foot pegs made from aluminum as well feel sturdy and dependable and have a good grip to them. The plastics used all around the bike feel like they could take a beating or two. So rest assured, a knock here and there won't be doing too much damage to the bike. Now the bike is fairly tall. The dirt version is even taller than the motard version and I'm 6 feet tall and this is what my seating position looks like. The seat height is 950 mm which is quite tall, but having said that, it is adjustable so there's no need to worry. The seat is very soft and comfortable, which means that there's no doubt you'll have a good ride in this. As opposed to some other dirt bikes with hard seats, this is to be thankful for. The days of dual sport bikes being just full of torque and no speed are gone. The Lemoto LRF 250 goes like a rocket and sounds like one too. On the roads with the motor tires, you'll have no problem whatsoever with the power delivery. It is punchy, even and leaves you begging for more. Reaching 100 on the highways is a piece of cake and you want to control the urge to just keep on going. 
Going through the traffic is smooth as butter, as the bike is very flickable and even long rides on the highways will be a walk in the park. Now with the dirt tires, the beast gets even more ground to prove itself. I took it for some light off-roading and perform it did. The LRF went through pretty much everything that was thrown at it. It had the torque to get through most obstacles effortlessly and the tires did a great job of clinging onto the surface and never letting me down. Out of the two, I found the dirt version to be much more enjoyable and fun. Now the LRF250 looks good and has great specs on paper as well. But if it does not ride well, there's no use to it at all. But ladies and gentlemen, I have been riding this machine for a past couple of days now and I must say I am loving the experience. Lemoto gave me both the motored and the enduro versions for me to review. And I must say I was skeptical at first. But after the very first ride, I was sold. Now the power of the LRF250 is something to be dealt with. A 250cc engine, 34 bhp of power. You decide for yourself. The initial power and the torque is quite something and it can even leave you surprised at first. You may even pop a wheelie unintentionally if you're not a bit careful. Now the performance both on-road and off-road is great. There's never a lack of power and there's always something coming up to you. And even after continuous riding, there is no heating issue whatsoever. The comfort of the LRF leaves no room for questions. Sure, it is not as comfortable as a cruiser, but for a dual sport, it is very appreciable. The seats add to the ease of riding, and the ergonomic seating position ensures a good ride. The seat height in the stock form may be a problem for some riders, so I highly recommend adjusting the seat height. Other than that, I don't see a huge problem at all. The braking was precise on both the models, but while riding the dirt tires in the city, there may be some skidding, and that is why there is the motard version. So, for just city use, for obvious reasons, I recommend the motard version. You know what is the best thing about this bike? The exhaust sound. The exhaust note is just phenomenal. If you guys like your bikes to make all the noise for you, this is the bike for you. So guys, now I need to give you a verdict. Yes, Lemoto is a brand new company for our market and you may have some doubts about it. But having ridden this bike for a couple of days now, I'm very impressed. But some things just can't be expressed. So why don't you go and test ride the Lemoto LRF250 and see for yourself. I'm sure you love it. And with the features and the performance that it possesses, the LRF250 could be your next dual sport.